Good morning. Welcome to this one half hour guided meditation. Meditation is for everyone. All we really need is a willingness to meditate. Paramahansa Yogananda said that the soul loves to meditate. And so when we feel resistance, it comes from the ego. And that could be very helpful for helping us to rise above that resistance to not want to meditate or not want to meditate deeply. So with that, let's go into our meditation. It's always helpful to work with the physical body first. So let's help it to relax by be doing a few rounds of the double breath. It's a short then a long inhalation through the nostrils. Tense the body, low, medium, high, and then release high, medium, low. Again. Completely relax the body here. <laughs> Tensing every part of the body. <sighs> and letting that tension completely leave. And last time. What does it feel like to hold that tension in the body? <sighs> and now compare when that tension is gone. Let's bring the body into the posture of meditation. Feel your feet flat on the floor. If you're sitting on a chair, allow the belly to relax. Palms are turned upward. Feel a gentle lift to the area of the heart. Collarbones spreading apart and shoulders relaxing down away from the ears. Chin is parallel to the floor. And behind softly gazed up, closed eyes, the gaze is gently uplifted. And just feel as though your awareness, your concentration is uplifted with a sense of relaxation and calm anticipation. Now going more inward, we'll take this reading from Metaphysical Meditations by Yogananda. This reading is, I have heard thy voice. Divine Mother, I have heard thy voice speaking in the fragrance of the rose. I touch thy tenderness in the softness of the lily. In the whispers of my devotion, it was thy love that answered. Our chant is, come out of the darkness, mother. Bathe me in thy light. And the words and music are by Swami Kriyananda. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Bring awareness to the heart and offering all that's in the heart up to the point between the eyebrows at the feet of Divine Mother. And now bring awareness to your breath. Perhaps as you have your awareness on your breath, you can relax a little more deeply. Every inhalation, a sense of expanding. Every exhalation, deepening your sense of relaxation. Let the breath help you here. And aspire to keep the gaze gently uplifted as you do this. And mentally scan the body now for any lingering places attention, not to judge them, it's not helpful but to breathe into them, expand into them. And the tension can dissipate from these areas then. And now to help us go more inward, we'll do measured breathing here. I'll guide us to inhale and then to hold and then to exhale for the count of, to the count of six. And so let's all come to the end of our exhalation here. And then inhaling through the nostrils unless they're blocked. Two, three, four, five, six. Holding as if you were capturing the breath and cradling it in the heart. Four, five, six. And exhaling two three, four, five, six. Inhale. <laughs> Holding with the sense of ease. And exhaling. Inhaling a sense of expansiveness. <laughs> Holding in stillness. And exhaling, relaxing more deeply. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Lengthen this a little bit, inhaling. Do this to a count of eight now. Holding with the sense of ease. Okay. 
And exhaling. Inhaling a sense of upliftedness. Holding in steadiness. And exhaling, no sense of collapsing here. Last round, inhaling. And holding the breath at the point between the eyebrows in complete stillness. Keep the gaze uplifted as you exhale. Resume normal breathing. Enjoying the effects of this technique. Now we'll move away from controlling the breath to simply observing it. We'll begin this technique with an inhalation through the nostrils, triple exhale through the mouth. And as the breath wants to return, notice its movement in the belly or in the chest, the rise and fall of the breath. Not controlling it, just observing. Now that we have a feel for that, let's transfer awareness of our breath as it flows up and down the nostrils. Relaxing at the bottom of the nostrils. And then the middle. And then at the top of the nose, at the point between the eyebrows. Perhaps you notice the breath feeling a little cooler as it flows up the nostrils and a little warmer when it flows down. This is not prescriptive. It's just ways for us to focus more deeply on the breath. So notice what you notice. And then to help you with concentration, with your right palm turned upward, when you notice the inhalation, you can gently curl the pointer finger of the right hand toward you. And when you notice the exhalation, relax it away from you. Just a way to help with focus. And the key to this technique is deeper and deeper levels of relaxation. We're not trying to make anything happen or figure anything out. Simply relaxing into and perhaps even enjoying observing the breath.
the mind wanders, that's not a problem at all. Just bring it back. And now let's go deeper into observing the breath itself, the feeling quality it brings. We'll add the saying, I am peace. If you know Hong Sa, of course, do that here. Every time you observe the inhalation, feel as though the breath were whispering to you, I am. And peace with the exhaling breath as if answering the question from deep within, who am I?
Perhaps the breath has slowed a bit or the pauses in between have become greater or the breath has stopped itself. Relax into these moments as a gift. I am peace. Let's end this technique with a gentle inhalation through the nostrils. Let go of the breath here. Check that the gaze is still uplifted. And the point of all the techniques we've done so far is to bring us to a place of stillness. This is sort of the heart of the practice now. Let's just sit in the stillness for a few minutes. And any positive qualities we feel, relaxing into them and expanding with them, communing with that higher place within us.
From pools of inner silence, I sip the sparkling waters of infinite peace. Let's close our meditation with healing prayers, holding in your heart anyone you'd like prayed for. And let's include those named in the healing prayer book on the altar at the Ananda Blue Lotus Meditation Temple. Divine Mother, Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Thou art in these named. Manifest thy healing presence in their bodies, in their minds, and in their souls. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Right. Well, to aspire to carry any positive qualities you've received from your practice out as long as possible into the day. And I'll just end with the same quote that we started with from Yogananda. The soul loves to meditate, so any resistance we feel comes from the ego and not from the soul. <laughs> 